Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with part number two. I did part one on um, live last night. It's currently like 8.45 in the morning. Um, I wanted to get this video up and out because like I said, I want to start crafting this weekend. So basically, this is going to be part two. My papers that I pulled out that I want to use. There's no way that I'm going to be able to use all this paper for Valentine's Day crafting. So I just pulled out a, a variety of stuff. Um, so let's get started. And then I'm going to come part three with my dyes and all of that, you know, stuff. Some people might want to see it. Some people might not. But it is what it is. Here we go. So this is um, Cardstock Warehouse. And I think this is um, 110 pounds Cardstock. So I pulled out that. That's the pink one. I pulled out everything. Um, pink Chiffon Mirror Card from Tonic Studios. I pulled out this smooth white heavy card stuff for my favorite things. Um, when I say I'm about to um, use some stuff in my stash, this is um, from Hobby Lobby. This little paper pack. This is, I think, from Michaels, this one. But I, I use this for order. Um, maybe last year, the year before, like almost two years ago, I did an order, a baby shower order, and I got that paper. So I was like, let me use some of it, even though it's only sixty-five, but it's still straight. I picked up the picked out the summer splash prestige cardstock. It's a hundred pound cardstock. Um, I had the mentality of, oh, yeah, this is my special car stock. I'm not going to use it. Look, I bought it. I'm going to use it. <laughs> That's my model for 2024. Um, I got this cotton candy um, heavy card stock, 100 pound, 25. This is when MFT was doing the 25. I think now they're doing 10 and 15 for the same price. But this is that color. I'm sorry if I didn't show you the colors. So those... Then I got the Poppin' Pink cardstock, see? is this color. And these are the 10, 110. So, um, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, let's keep it rolling. So, the first thing I pulled out was the Spring Glitter. And this is the Hot Buy. And this is from 2020. When they still had decent Hot Buys out, so... Um, this is like a pink, pink, purplish pink. I don't know what is it coming up on camera. This is like a blue, like a green, gold, like a copper, gold, or orange, like a pink. Or maybe that's a yellow. It's supposed to be a yellow. I think that was supposed to be yellow. This is supposed to be yellow, you know, orange and stuff like that. So I never used that, so I need to get that together. I have this paper, Galantine's paper for recollection. This is a brand new pad. I never used that because I counted it yes the other day. This is the girl squad that goes. This is the double sided one. Pretty sure this is an older pad. This is from 2017. So um I got picked out a lot of glitter. This one, this one. We got some 12 by 12 um, pink. This is um, 65 for for sure. So picked out a lot of paper. This glitter, and I got a couple of collections I want to share. This glitter. This is a um. 12 by 12, 100 pound. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Had a phone call, messed up my video, but we're going to merge these two together. I have this white glitter. Oh, I guess I only got one sheet of that. <laughs> so I guess I better use that. Got this specialty acetate. This comes out of a paper pad. I'm going to show y'all. I pulled out this clear acetate um 
Because you know I love acetate. I pulled out some more glitter. Pink glitter. Had this for a couple of years, so it's time to use it. I pulled out some chipboard. Right. Chipboard. Heavyweight acetate. This is my go-to. Um, what is that? Mylar pink. Uh, Mylar. What is that? Pink. Ooh. Okay. Mylar. Uh, pink from Recollections. Plastic paper. They call it, but I know it's that Mylar. We got this. We have that. And these are other papers that I pulled. I know you probably saying Shaniqua. I was just downstairs and I just pulled it. Um, this is called glitter jewel. Um, jewel glitter. And I put picked this out because this is like a purplish, like this color, pink. I could use that. This is gold. This color blue. It's a lighter blue. So, figure it. I can just pick out stuff, and we're gonna be on and pop. So this is another pad. This is from 2016, and this is um one of my favorites. <coughs> that still got that pad. This is from 20. 21. I don't know if this was this last year. It could have been the last year. I don't know. But it says right here 2021. But this is where I got that other specialty paper. So um this could have been 2021. Because I don't think I got any from last year. And you know they got the specialty pads out again this year, so um And these are 36 seat sheets, so I'm going to, I don't know, just, I can't. Oh yeah, and then the, um, black, those, the, the, the heart ones I just showed, that's from this paper pad. Then we got this one from 2020, and this is Valentine's Day, and this might have been from 21, because you know 2020 we were locked down, so... Not lockdown, lockdown, but I don't remember. See, they got look. So I did use a couple pages out of here, but nothing spectacular that I used. So I figured I could take some from here, here, there, each paper pad. And then I got this one too. This was Sweet Talks. I don't think I got any from last year. If I'm not mistaken, I gotta go look, look look back. I don't think so because I was used I was using collections. So um it's more like the pastels. This is not from last year, definitely not. Because I think I used this like two years ago. But anyway, it's more like the pastels and the and stuff. Non-tradition. Well, I guess I guess I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about these days. So, um, those were like 90% of the paper. So I want to show you guys, um, this is nothing new. These are nothing, I promise you nothing new. Um, this collection came out in 20... One, if I'm not mistaken, no, 20. It says 2020, but I'm trying to figure out did I buy this in 2020? I think I did buy this in 2020, and I think that was like the first um time I started really buying collections and stuff. But I have some papers and stuff left from this collection, so I think I want to do something with this collection. So we're gonna go into a little bit of details. Move that back a little bit. What I got, like scraps and stuff. I still got some puffy stickers. This is just like stuff that I used last year. 
I think I did an advent calendar for this stuff. We got the one we got the tags left from this collection. Um these are cut apart. But it got the little sprinkles on the back. Um, we got this, but I don't think I would use these cherry blossoms. But definitely look the hearts. And I like this because they have like touches of black. So I could use black in this. Um this is one of my favorites. And these are my last two. Last two pages. Um this one, this is one of my favorites too as well. Then we got this. <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. Bless me. We got these. These are cut apart. But this is one of my favorites too. And then there's the big cut apart. Then you have that one. Then you have an extra one of these. And then I still have... um one whole sticker sheet and another one so um how should i say this it's then i'm gonna show you what else i got to it um bought these off of timu last year so i'm just trying to do inventory to see what I do and do have don't have for this collection to see where I can go with it. I may it may be boring to some, but I'm just trying to figure it out. Like I know I have a lot of ephemera. These are um the cut aparts that I cut up last year. It's a little shaker that I did I never used. Chipboard. These are all like the ephemera because I did buy a lot of the ephemera. See? I had two Two um packs of the ephemera. We have some chipboard. Um, like I said, this is one of the papers. And got some glitter paper in here as well. And look, I have a whole thing of puffy stickers, and then I have um some more chipboard and journal bits. And the enamel dots. So, I got enough to do a project or two um, with this collection. So, I'm actually going to, when I get off of here, sort this out a little bit more. But, I got to keep it pushing because I have another collection. Another Simple Stories collection that I want to share. Um... But I will get all of this together. So. And then, like I said, you could use, you don't have to actually use these with the collection and stuff. You can actually, um, what is that? Use them with other Valentine's Day papers. So, I like how versatile it is. So, like I said, this is a sweet talk. Um, from Simple Stories. So. I got pretty much some good stuff to do. So, next one I'm going to show y'all is the Happy Hearts. <coughs> <coughs> and I got to You know what? Oh. Uh, do I want to go? Maybe I'll go in. Um, I'm going to do another video with this one. Because I don't want these videos to take all day to upload. So, guys, with that being said, come back for um, the Happy Heart stash. And then I got another video after that. So, guys, with that being said, I love you for free. And there's nothing you can do about it. Until next time. Bye. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with part number two. I did part one on um, live last night. It's currently like 8.45 in the morning. 
Um, I wanted to get this video up and out because, like I said, I want to start crafting this weekend. So basically, this is going to be part two, my papers that I pulled out that I want to use. There's no way that I'm going to be able to use all this paper for Valentine's Day crafting. So I just pulled out a, a variety of stuff. Um, so let's get started. And then I'm going to come part three with my dyes and all of that, you know, stuff. Some people might want to see it. Some people might not. But it is what it is. Here we go. So this is um cardstock warehouse and i think this is um 110 pound cardstock so i pulled out that that's the pink one i pulled out everything um pink chiffon mirror card from tonic studios i pulled out this smooth white heavy cardstock for my favorite things um when i say i'm about to um use some stuff in my stash this is um from Hobby Lobby this little paper pack this is I think from Michaels this one but I I use this for order um maybe last year the year before like almost two years ago I did an order a baby shower order and I got that paper so I was like, let me use some of it. Even though it's only 65, but it's still straight. I picked up the picked out this summer splash prestige cardstock. It's a hundred pound cardstock. Um I had the mentality of, oh yeah, this is my special cardstock. I'm not gonna use it. Look, I bought it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> That's my model for 2024. Um I got this cotton candy um heavy cardstock, 100 pound. 25 this is when mft was doing the 25 i think now they're doing 10 and 15 for the same price but this is that color i'm sorry if i didn't show you the colors so those then i got the pop and pink cardstock see is this color and these are the 10 110 so um maybe i don't know but anyway let's keep it rolling so the first thing I pulled out was a spring glitter, and this is the Hot Buy, and this is from 2020, when they still had decent Hot Buys out. So, um, this is like a pink, purplish pink. I don't know what is it coming up on camera. This is like a blue, like a green, gold, like a copper, gold, or orange, like a pink. Maybe that's a yellow. It's supposed to be a yellow. I think that was supposed to be yellow. This is supposed to be yellow. You know, orange and stuff like that. So I never used that. So I need to get that together. I have this paper, Galantine's paper for recollection. This is a brand new pad. I never used that because I counted it yes the other day. This is the girl squad that goes. This is the double sided one. I'm pretty sure this is an older pad. This is from 2017. So, um, I got, put that a lot of glitter. This one, this one, we got some 12 by 12, um, pink. This is, um, 65 for, for sure. So, picked out a lot of paper. This glitter. And I got a couple of collections I want to share. This glitter. This is a um, 12 by 12, 100 pound. Hold on, y'all. 